Hey everyone, it's Trish here from Techniques by Trish. Thanks for joining me. I realized that it is literally a few days away from Halloween and I have not posted any Halloween projects. So, welcome to day one of my mini fall series. Today I'm making treat bag tags for my daughter's school. And so I've started out with the Paper Smooches Scalloped Tag Die. I love this die, it's an older one. And I just quickly, um, cut it out in my cuddle bog like two at a time to make it really quick and simple. I'm also using one of my favorite tools, the Misty, because this just made this mass producing process like go by super quick. I think I only spent about 30 minutes creating 20 tags. So it just flew by. Once you have the stamps loaded in there it makes it go by extremely quickly so the first thing I did was stamp my pumpkin and this is from the MFT spooky sweets um stamp set and I stamped that with Lawn Fawn's fake tan orange ink and now I'm moving on to the jack-o'-lantern face and I'm lining up exactly where I'd like it and then I'm using Lawn Fawn's black licorice ink to ink that up and you'll see there it wasn't quite inked well I could have easily just stamped it and stamped it a second time but I just spent a little bit more time on the inking and then went ahead and stamped it so like you see here this just flies by and makes it go by super quick with this tool. Obviously these tags can be created without the Misty tool, but this is one tool that I really urge you, if you do quite a bit of mass producing, it is so incredibly helpful. Next I'm lining up the stump exactly where I would like it for my pumpkin and then I'm going to be inking this with some walnut ink. Now I could have easily just kept my Misty in the same position each time but at one point I did have all my stamps loaded onto the Misty door so I was just used to having um, it loaded this way and so that's why you see it and you actually see my sentiment is still in fact on the door. Um, for this since I'm using it on its side I did mark off with some pencil on the grid paper exactly where to line it up and that way I'm placing it in the same position each and every time. Now we're moving on to the sentiment portion. This also comes from the same MFT stamp set and for this sentiment I'm actually using the Lawn Fawn Juice Box ink. I really like the combination for Halloween of oranges, blacks, purples, and even green sometimes. So I'm just loading up my Misty and then I'm going to go ahead and ink up my sentiment and stamp that on to each of my tags. Once I finished stamping my sentiment onto all of the tags, I realized that the tags are a little bit bare and they're missing just a little something extra. So I'm using the little star clusters that you do find in the stamp set and I decided that I wanted to make them glitter but didn't want them to be transparent. So I'm taking the Lawn Fawn Manatee ink and I'm stamping off on a post-it note and then stamping it onto my tag. There are a couple times where I forgot to stamp off and so I continued the same color on all of them and it wasn't too dark but I do like the subtle gray of stamping off once and then stamping on the tag um, the second time better. So once I went ahead and did that, I could have just left it as is, but like I said, it needed a little bit of sparkle and shimmer. So I'm taking my EK Success Powder Tool and powdering down all of these tags, and then I'm going to take my Versamark ink, and this is the Judikins Iridescent Sparkle Embossing Powder, but you can use any type of glittery embossing powder or even um, a glitter brush pen would work fine. I just thought that this would be quicker. So I'm just stamping the same clusters that are on the block in Versamark ink and then I'm just stamping directly over onto the stars. Now this one I was doing each tag individually but then I realized wait let me just go straight across because the stars are pretty much lined up the same exact way on each stamp set and then I went and did the next set straight across and then the last set and this made the process go by even quicker. So I did five tags at once. I figured that wasn't too much or too little. And so once I stamped it, I coated them all with the glitter embossing powder and just uh, tapped off the excess. And I did all of them. And then you'll go ahead and see that I start to heat set them with my heat tool. Now, 
the biggest thing that I can say about using glitter embossing powder is that you want to heat up from behind your project first and then start to melt the embossing powder from the front. The reason is that if you take the heat tool and you apply it to or point it towards the front of your project where you have the glitter embossing powder, the glitter is not bonded to the paper it does once it's been melted with the embossing powder so if you blow directly onto the front of the tag first you're going to kind of blow away that glitter and you won't have that in the end result so you'll see here I just take a few seconds and heat up the tag from the back and then that seems to melt it just enough and then I go ahead and move on to the front of the tag to finish off the melting of the embossing powder so once I've done that, that pretty much completes my tag and I'm moving on to my goodie bags. So all these supplies just came from my local Target. I bought the bags, um, some M&Ms, a lollipop, a box of tattoos, a glow stick, a couple of erasers, and then a pencil is also in there because my daughter is at the age where they are starting to um, do a lot of writing. So I thought that that would be helpful for kids, especially since they're taking home homework. Um, I know I try to think of not just candy related items but other items that could be useful. So once I did that I'm using the Lawn Fawn Spooky Twine to attach this onto my gift bag and I'm just wrapping it around once and then bringing it to the front and just tying a bow. And it took me a little while to finick with it but I managed to get it down packed uh, after a few moments of messing around with it. And that pretty much completes my project for today. I really hope you enjoyed this quick and easy tag. I'm sorry that this is coming up so late. I'm sure most of you are done your Halloween projects, but I really wanted to share this because I thought um, these goodie bags turned out so cute, and I know all the kids in my daughter's class will really enjoy them. And I had her go ahead and sign the back of all of them with her name herself. Um, and you can't see that glitter out oh, there you can catch that glitter embossing powder but I really hope you guys enjoy this project my goal is to have a few more Halloween themed projects in this uh, fall mini series for you guys within the next couple of days um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it until then I'll see you in the next video